Hey guys, it's Trent here from the Online Income Lab, and today I want to give you what was given to me in terms of a business advice a number of years ago, and it had a profound influence on my life. However, at the time that I was given the advice, I thought it was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard. And here it is. The best way to succeed in business is to be in business. And I thought, wow, thanks, Dick Tracy. That's really profound, because I really didn't get it. And years later, it made a lot of sense to me. And from this piece of advice, I created what I call my green dot theory. So bear with me as I explain this to you, um, because I think it's going to make a lot of sense and it, hopefully it's going to fire you up. Okay, so when you first come up with your idea, maybe it's for an authority site or any kind of business you're thinking of, you're thinking to yourself, hey, I'm going to go out there and you write this business plan or whatever and, and I'm going to sell green dots and I'm going to be like the best green dot sales guy or the best green dot business or the best green dot website ever and you go out and you, and you promptly suck. And so that's kind of disappointing. And one of the things that people do is they give up. And that's really sad when that happens, and of course, that's going to prevent you from going on and having success. However, some of the people don't give up. And some of the people, they go out, and I should probably have more colors for this. So, they go out and they discover, and I'm going to run out of colors, so we're just going to do green, green and red dots, but you'll get the idea. They discover, as a byproduct of trying to figure out how to sell more green dots, they discover these things that there's, there's like a red dot opportunity out there. And so they kind of scrap what they were doing here and now they adjust their business to go out and sell red dots and things get a little bit better. Now, when they were over here coming up with their business plan, they didn't even know that red dots existed. But they're still not doing very well. They're just kind of scraping by and, you know, it's not great. However, what happens is at this point, they discover, and because I don't have enough felt markers, instead of dots, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to modify my dot theory live right here on camera. Uh, they discover green squares. And so they, again, adjust the business model, and now they start selling green squares and business picks up a little bit more. And now, when they start selling their green squares, like I say, business picks up, but they're still not achieving the level of success that they want. So now, while they're out there trying to figure out how to sell more green squares, they discover that there are in fact, or there is in fact, an opportunity to start selling red triangles. Again, back here, you had no idea that red triangles even existed. And so when you finally get, so when they're, when they're here now, business is picking up again. And as you can see, this kind of continues. We could, we could make, you know, I don't know, dots, squares, triangles. Maybe we're gonna make red squares now. Hopefully, you're getting the, uh, the message that I'm trying to convey. The best way to succeed in business is to be in business. If you're reading about being in business, or you're thinking about being in business, or you're procrastinating about being in business, or you're talking about being in business, you're never going to discover red squares or black boxes or whatever it is that the journey of being in business will help you to uncover. So my point of my message in this video is the most important thing for you to do is to simply start. For those of you who followed my, my, my history and my blog for a while, you know, you'll know that before getting into this business and creating the Online Income Lab, I started a company called Duran Systems back in 2001. And in the beginning, our green dot was we were just going to sell IT services to small businesses. Time and materials. We'll send a guy out, he'll fix your computers, and we'll charge you, I don't know, just like 70 or 80 bucks an hour. 
And I was so ill-informed or so naive about business back then that I had no idea what a horrible business that was going to turn into being. And we struggled with our green dots and we didn't make any money. As a matter of fact, we lost a lot of money in the, last, in the first few years. But we struggled with our green dots for about six months. And then, thankfully, and I don't remember, I, I guess I just started to pay attention to the competition. Maybe somebody told me to pay attention to the competition. I discovered that there was a better way to deliver our services, first of all. And that discovery only happened when we were in a competitive situation for an account and we were told that we were going to lose. And, and of course, that was really disappointing because it was going to be, we were pitching, we were going to show up, I think, for like a half day per week and charge the client like $800 a month because we really wanted to get that regular monthly fee because, you know, having continuity in your business, steady cash flow makes life a whole lot easier. The other company, um, which ironically enough is no longer in business today, but that, that's because they were a dot com and raised a bunch of money and wasted it all. They were going to deliver services over the internet 24 hours a day in a return for monthly fee. Now, before I started Duran, do you think that I knew that that business model existed? No, I did not have the foggiest idea. And it never in a million years would have plopped out of the sky and occurred to me. Because I chose to get into business and then I was competing against this other company for an account, the, the, the light bulb, I simply became aware that there was another opportunity to generate revenue and a different way to deliver services that I never would have figured out on my own. Happily, moral of the story is, we won that account because we immediately, I, call, I, I said to him, look, I mean, I thankfully I built some rapport with the guy and I said, look, listen, could you not award the contract to the other company? Give me two days. That's all I need is two days. And he said, all right, you guys love you. I don't know. You're, you're sure. I'll give you two days. And so he had thankfully told me what this other company was. We went to that other company's website, discovered what they were using. And it was some software that we'd never heard of. And it was produced by Cisco. I believe it was Cisco. Anyway, we called him up. And we gave them our bleeding heart story and said, we have no money. Can you give us this software like on a monthly pay? And they, they did. We called the customer back and said, okay, well, we've got all that fancy deliver it on the internet stuff too. And we're going to do it for 20, 20 or 25% less than the other company. And he said, all right, you got the deal. And that was the very first customer that we had with our new red dot. Because we really weren't selling the same thing anymore. And, and business continued to pick up over time because as we went further and further into that business, we figured out that we could add backup services, that we could add security services and server monitoring, and all this other stuff that when I was the entrepreneur with a business plan and a pretty dumb entrepreneur at that, I had absolutely no idea that that stuff existed. So hopefully today's video has given you some insight into some things that may not have occurred to you before you watch it. If you have got some new insights, by the way, I'd love it if you left them in the comments below, you know, unless they're proprietary and you don't want, you know, maybe a competitor hearing it. But if there's some way that this video has helped you to move forward, that kind of feedback really, really floats my boat. So please take a moment and share it. And what my hope for you is, is that you'll get fear, doubt, uncertainty, and procrastination and kick its ass out the door and just start. Online businesses cost nothing to create. Uh, I just bought a book, but I don't have it in the office today, called The $100 Startup. And it gives story after story after story of people who went on to change their lives, to build businesses that created six-figure incomes in some cases. They started for under 100 bucks, but they didn't get it right, right from the get-go. And nor will you get it right, right from the get-go. But what I promise you is if you just watch this video and you don't do anything with the knowledge that I'm giving you in this video, a week from now, a month from now, your life is going to be exactly the same as it is today. If you have an idea for an authority site, but you're coming up with all the reasons why it might not work or it might not do this or you might not get any traffic or what have you, where will you be two weeks from now? On the couch, watching TV, buying somebody else's course, reading another book or another blog post, but you will not be in business. And if you're not in business, 
this cannot apply to you. So the lesson here is the best way to succeed in business is to be in business. So go ahead and start a business. It's the internet. You can have one started in an hour. What's your excuse? Thanks very much for watching. If you liked this video, I would love it if you would tweet it or share it or Google plus it or paint it on your forehead or anything that you want to do to help me spread the word because my goal is to help more people get into business and succeed in business and I need your help to make that happen. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next poster, video, or podcast, or whatever it is. And if you're watching this on someplace other than my blog, it's onlineincomelab.com. Thank you.